Welcome back to Morpheus. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Monaco, Kwanzaa, Ramadan, Diwali, I don't know. The point being, it's been a while. You'd think with this long you know, uh, week and a bit off, I might have found a chance to play some games. But no, I've been busy working on my scale mail inlay generator and generally doing productive things and not playing games. And here I am with all these games that I need to play. Still, let's pick up where we were. Uh, gosh knows where that was. I'm sure we can figure it out as we go. That's right, we were just looking at the controls inside the Tepidarium. Or one of these places is the Tepidarium, anyway. Because we had to adjust the temperatures. Tepidarium is thermally locked. The Vaporium. Oops. Vaporium. Thank you. I'll just turn the sensitivity of my mouse down a touch there. Uh, and the Tepidarium. And I believe the Tepidarium we set correctly. Checking my notes here. 40... In fact, no, 40 degrees was the Vaporium, not the Tepidarium. We'll set that back to 40. There we go. I guess means the Tepidarium probably has to be uh, a touch higher. I don't actually know what the values are, I'm just moving the sliders. Alright, good. Now if we open this up, and I push the Tepidarium, we get water. Which is a good thing. I believe that means I have an email. Has some Vortex high grade leather dice bag, sponsored by the Dice Shop Online. No? Let's try that. Frigidarium is not coming out. And the Vaporium is not coming out. I can't remember whether that means. Let's see, Frigidarium. I take it all the way down, down to zero. Does that change? Oops. It really didn't do this uh, navigation system very well. I, I don't remember it being this silly, but you have to... Unless I can do it with the keyboard. Can I do it with the keyboard keys? No. Oh. Well. Oh, that's still just one. Unless it just only op output so it goes out of one thing, of course. Let's just try a couple different temperatures, see if we can brute force the puzzle. Oh, I know, terrible. No, it just seems to do one thing all the time. Okay, let's go hex exploring, shall we? We did a lot of exploring last time, if I remember correctly. Mm, baked mud. We certainly have been in here. I believe we couldn't take a shower last time either. Yeah. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Uh, three eight six. That I believe will be a room code. Whose locker was that? Uh, was that Malhabi? Nope. Gelty. Tom. Mexler. No. Gulti. Uh, what is that one? The hell? What? What? Oh, I see. I'm only, I can only do it from this direction. So that was Mexler. I don't actually remember getting a key. Um, but I don't see an inventory button, so... I may have to rewatch the previous videos to see when I got that key, because I, I don't remember picking one up. But that tells me that we have ourselves a room code. And that is a, whoa, good thing. So let's go check out Muxler's room. 386. 
don't think we have any other room codes, do we? No. Sorry, I was just checking my notes. That's right, and this is the place where all the herbs and stuff are. Okay, cool. Alright, Mexler's room. Question is, which one of these is Mexler's? That is Mexler. Oh, no, that was easy. Oops. One, two, three. Oh, okay, I can do it faster, that's all right then. Oop, too much. Three, four, five, six. There you go. Uh, open sesame. Ooh, nice sofa, my man. Nice sofa. Yeah, this room's pretty nicely made up. Wardrobe. This music is way too ominous. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I step into a serial killer's room or something? Let's check the wardrobe. Is, is, there, is there something going on here that I haven't haven't noticed? Drawer? Desk? Some sort of press? Another door? Well, I guess all we can do is step further into the room. Maybe we'll be able to see something here. There's a door. Oh, here we go. Now I can look at the desk. What have we got? El Bano Cigars. Okay, so it's Billy Max supply of the finest uh, water fountains, freaks <laughs> Oh dear. It would appear that he uh, does a lot of things. He might be a bit of a con artist. What's this? It is a clockwork music box. Creepy. I don't see anything else to do here. Dice. Ooh. Snake eyes. Well, not snake eyes, but seven. Lucky number seven. They're probably probably rigged to dice, I guess. We mix us far of the finest. Put on some, some sort of photograph. Bonus Wagner. That might be important. Maybe. And uh, what else have we got? Sharkley's marked playing cards. Yep, this guy's a con artist. And we've got ourselves a locket as well. Ooh. That. And an ugly baby. Babies are ugly. Every single baby is ugly. Even me as a baby was ugly. Because babies are ugly. Uh, let's check the other box. Ooh. Ah, blood vial. Yes. Okay, we have a vial of Mexler's blood. Which is one of the components of the uh, recipe that we found last time. So I'll just make a note that we have uh, Mexler's blood. Interesting that two vials are already down. Ooh, there's some instructions there. Can we read that? Yes, we can. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to create a, a little table here. Uh, so... There is person, room, pod, blood. At least that's what we have so far. Score these down and across. Maxler, room code 386, pod code 318, blood, yes. Health serum is still using the blood extraction of Billy Mexler. Instructions the passenger. Insert serum into personal pod receptacle and fly to a world of dreams that heal the body and enlighten the mind. Okay. Progress. What's in the drawer? A to Z. Rubber stamp letters. Okay. Well, that was... That was worth the animation. A letter. What clues might this letter contain? None, because it's completely blur- Oh, it's the, inv it's the invitation to the cruise. Okay. Oh, oh, hang on. What's in the bin? 
We have more business cards. I've sure been throwing away a lot of business cards. And finally, the stamp press. Can I operate it? Ah, oh, neat. Cool. I made my own Billy Mexler the business card. Awesome. I can now go around pretending to be Billy Mexler, right? Uh, can I get rid of the... No? Is it... My cursor is now blood vile. Fair enough. <laughs> Mirror. Ooh, look at the bed. Ooh, ghosts. Those pajamas. Jesus. Oh, shit. What the hell? What are you rats doing? Aren't you going to help me, Doctor? Get over here and help me, Mallaby, now! Ooh. Now things are starting to get too spooky. All right, there's this door. Which leads into... Oh, okay, it's a personal bathroom. Nice. And there's something over there. But nothing else. What's this then? Ah, it's a toilet, of course. Naturally, we needed a cutscene of the toilet flushing. Let's see it again. Yep, it's a toilet. See, it's, it's these great little things they put into the game. It's absolutely pointless. Doesn't add anything to the story, isn't a requirement, doesn't add anything, it's just a flushing toilet. But of course, if you see a toilet, you expect to be able to click it, and it flushes. Because that's what toilets do when you click them. Well, for the most part, anyway. Okay, so what do we do with this blood vial? Uh, well, I guess we need to go to the pod room, don't we? But then we also need... Is this extract complete? Is this a, either this is a vial of blood or it's? Well, no, the, the, vial, the vial of blood must be complete because it's a conto concoction made by the good doctor for him. So it's probably the complete serum, including the black and the varied orchid. Which means that I need to go to the uh, pod room. blood, I guess. Don't know. I, I, I don't think we need to be here just yet. So let's go and find ourselves a pod room, and we can get ourselves into Mexler's realm of fantasy and imagination! At least we know where everything is now, which is good. In fact, how, how is my map doing? How... Oh dear. Well, I wasn't doing a very good job of keeping a map, was I? It always helps to have a map. Always helps to actually be keeping it. Hmm. Okay. Five minutes later. Sorry about that. Just writing a map as we go, as I failed to do it last time. Okay, so this is the uh, foyer area. Five minutes later. Alright. Ooh, and that continues through... Five minutes later. Alright, with that map writing done, let's head down to the basement. Because if I remember correctly, the uh, the pods are all held down near that engine room area. I could be mistaken, but we'll find out shortly. Five minutes later. No, that was wrong. That's not where they are. That's just all the engine uh, power stuff that we turned on. The pods are somewhere else. Which means that it's time for use the map that you drew previously to recount where the pods are. Oh, wait! On the bright side, I'm now making that map. And I'll feature that in the bonus video at the end of the, uh, the series. As I'm sure you're fascinated to know what it looks like. Let's go... In fact, let's take the elevator, because I believe if I take the elevator down to four, that's probably the way to get there. 
So I, I believe the floor beneath, beneath us is four. Four. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I may have to rethink this one. <laughs> I think they call this the Sanctorum, didn't it? Maxler is the one just here. Pushing that is just showing us what's in his dream, isn't it? Yes, the isolation box. However, there's no... Yeah, what's this? Okay, that's just the same thing. Is there a pod... Re ah, here we are. Yes, right. Pod retractor. Right. Pod retractor. Code 318. One. Three. One. Oh, no. One. Eight. Engage. That's... You incompetent quack! Look what you've done! But, Mr. Ferris, I'm sure... I mean, well, I thought... Sir! Jan assured me. He said he'd wake them. Wake them? He's killed them. Then you helped him. Oh, God. The dreams of the dead. What? What have I done? Huh. Secret door. Uh, wasn't expecting the pod retraction code to do that. I was expecting... Oh, that's the Malibu one. I was expecting the pod to come up from there, not another one to engage. Huh. Interesting. So I just need to make a modification to my map, saying that there is a... secret door. Which is Mott must lead down to the pod chamber. It's a good point for a save, I think. All right, let's give this a try. Ooh, CD3 already. Well then. Oh shit. That went super fast for some reason. Oh man. Well then, now we really are up shit creek, aren't we? These must be the pods. Oh, there's one open as well. Our staircase and some someone else. Six pods, no five pods, plus one for Yan, I assume. No, no, that's not actually what I said. Oh god, don't make me change discs again. I didn't want to go back up. Goodness for that. Back down, please. Uh, I guess I can't actually look at that. Okay. Let's take a look at Mexler's pod. Who is still? Were these pods meant to keep them alive? Or were they the instruments of their deaths? 
Looks a bit old, but it seems, still seems to be alive. This is a gateway to other worlds. If I don't get in, I'll never know the full story. Um. Not so sure that's a good idea. I mean, obviously, I already know what happens, but. Uh... Yep, old, but alive. Not very well nourished, I'm sure. And this must be Yarn himself. Oh shit. It's him. It's Yarn. Let's not do that again. This is a gateway to other... So the question is what I'll do now. So I guess I've got to get into the pod. I've got Mexler's serum. I don't immediately see anything that I can do down here. So I guess I need to prepare something before I come down here. Hmm. Perhaps I, uh, perhaps I do just have a vial of blood and I need to Combine it with the orchids. What's disc two, wasn't it? Disc one? Yeah, that is disc two. Right, thank you. That disc change took a while. This pod just came down, so let's have a look. Is there anything we can look at here? A wallaby. No, nothing. So everything else is the same then. This pod looks broken. Maybe this is the one meant for the father. The father broke it before uh, it could do anything to him. I see, that's just going to show that again. Okay. Uh, nothing over there. Okay, let's go back to the plant lab then. Actually, come to think of it. I seem to recall that somewhere on the boat was a garden which had the various orchids. We should probably go there. I mean, I'm not, not sure how we get there, because I don't keep a decent map. But now is as good a time as any to bring ourselves into the 21st century of mapping. Mapping technology has come on a long way, of course. Okay. Lift. Comes out into the bar. Well, actually, it's the lounge, isn't it? But Potato, potato. We go forward. Takes us out onto... A corridor. Oh, is this the one that comes out at the back of the bridge? I think it might be. Young man, don't you know your Wait, 
Belemekshla. Yes, yeah, so we've we saw that previously, didn't we? Billy Max is certainly featuring quite heavily, isn't he? I believe this is the one that goes, yes, onto the bridge. Bridge. But there are five things. Two doors. Guess that just leads back out on yeah, that just leads onto the front, so there's nothing there. Uh, so that bridge is literally just uh quite across, isn't it? That comes down. There's a staircase that goes off that way. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Man, these uh, CDs obviously having difficulty loading. That was a pretty huge uh, FMV jump there. Uh, so that just comes all the way along to a set of stairs, which comes down into level two. Actually, it's not much to level one. meeting in case you guys you couldn't tell. This goes into the Yes the lobby. Give me a sec whilst I draw level two facing that way. Uh let's see, where are we in relation to the lift? The lift is behind the so we are here. Mapping is a lengthy process, but ultimately worth it in games like this. After all, how will you know when there's doors you haven't been through? If you don't know where you've been. Masked Ball tonight in the Eden Ballroom. 